Welcome to Rick's Corner. I'm in a pretty good mood today. I just got back from my orthopedic surgeon and he checked my knee. It's uh, just now eight weeks out since I had the surgery and after the staph infection. But I'm way ahead of schedule. My, uh, my uh, range of motion is 105 degrees. It's going to go to 120, which is just that far away. But he said everything's clear, everything is good. I can go back to working leg, which was music in my ears. <laughs> my physical therapist says, no, don't do legs yet. Let's do some more therapy, which we will do. But I want to get some extensions in and some leg curls in that because I need to build the strength up in the quad. It's been a long time since I've used that quad uh, with the um, injuries that I had prior. Um, I want to talk about reps. I know I've done this before, and I've never come to a solution that's perfect for everybody. Some people say, well, well let's just go back in the day when I started training. They said, you know, it was always a known fact that if you do low reps and heavy weight, you're going to get a lot of size. If you do high reps and light weight, you're going to get cut. To a degree. I think a lot of that depends on what you eat and how you sleep and genetics. It all works together. Some people can get big on reps and some people can get uh, um, big on high reps and low reps. It doesn't seem to matter what they do, they just grow. But I know that back when I started training, I always went heavy and I did like four to six reps. I think I told you once before I used to do the 10, I said 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2 on the bench to get my, my bench up. It worked great for me. Um, I don't know. I, th I think it's all up to the individual. Now, you have to understand that bigger muscle groups, such as back, lats are big, and quads. Quads are big. They can take a lot of reps. They can go up to 50 reps. I know a friend of mine, um, well, I'll mention his name, Mike Sable. Everybody knows Mike Sable. He's a hell of a bodybuilder, a great body. He used to train at Steve Davis's gym with me, and he used to do 50 reps, sometimes 100 on leg press. Now, that's hard to do, and he had huge legs. Um, it just worked for him. You know, the 50 reps on legs crazy but it worked for him and he had big legs so it, it does work for some people and maybe not for others um, biceps for example I don't believe you can do a lot of reps on biceps I don't believe that anything more than 12 which actually 12 is almost too many because it is a small muscle seems to get smaller when you do something like that tricep for example you have three muscles there it's a bigger part of the arm you can get away with 15 to 20 reps maybe 25 if you really push it um, shoulders a lot of small muscles in there I don't think you can do a lot of reps on that I would say maybe six to eight, you know, front, sides, and rear is plenty on those little muscles because you're going to overtrain them, they're just going to get smaller. The other thing I found with me is I have shoulder injury, and I know a lot of you guys have shoulder injury, and what happens when you try to raise it up and it doesn't want to go all the way, your trap takes over, so you end up getting your traps worked and not your shoulders. So your traps get bigger, which actually makes your shoulders look smaller. That's an illusion because it looks like it's going like this, where you actually want to go like this. So... Um, I was also told, I think I told you before, not to do pressing for my shoulders anymore, but just nothing to, but damage them. So I haven't been. I've been doing just the lateral movements, front, side, and back, and over and over and over, and it seems to work okay. But reps, again, it's, it just depends on the person. If you feel you get a lot with high reps, let us know. I'm curious to see how it works out for you, because it might. You know, I also think that um, a chest can do quite a few reps on the bench. You know, I've, I'm, I went to the gym one day. Okay, I tried this. I put 315 on the bar. I knocked out 21 reps, cold, 21 reps. That was a lot of reps. Uh, do I do it all the time? No, no, I always did the 10, the eights and those, that type of thing as well. Um, I got five with incline dumbbells, uh, with the 150 pound dumbbells. Yeah, it's a struggle, but they actually put, did put size on me. So I think that you should vary it depending on your body type, depending on your genetics, depending on your diet, what works for you. Go in and try some high reps and then try some low reps and do them a couple of times a week and see what happens at that point. Hold on a minute, we'll be right back. I want to remind all of you, yes, you can still order the Gold's Gym logo, the one I designed in 1973 that was the largest selling t-shirt logo in the world. It's a piece of art history. I drew it and now I can draw it for you on an eight by 10 paper. I will autograph it to you and sign it, put your name on it. Each one is hand drawn separately for you. They're not prints or reproductions. Each one is different because every time you draw something, it comes out a little bit different, but it's the Gold's Gym logo. And so if you would like to order it, you can get it off my website, rickdrazen.com, order through PayPal. If you go to my website and scroll down, you'll see the, the order button. Go ahead and order. I'll make it out and I'll send it right out to you. You can frame it, put it on your wall, in your house, in your gym, or your garage, wherever you want. But it's a one of a kind and a will go down in history as the largest logo in the world. Thank you. Now back to the show. Okay, I also want to touch on this. I tried this while I was down with my knee, doing each body part three times a week. I know that's not heard of anymore, but Steve Reeves and all the guys back in the day did it. Each body part three times a week, but I didn't do no more than nine sets. Three exercises times three. I actually made progress. I could see a difference in my body, even at my age, on the three times a week. 
not heavy, just a moderate weight. Then after about five or six days, I need to take a day or two off because you do get tired. Everything comes into play. Every time you're working a different body part, another part comes into it, and pretty soon the whole body just gets tired. I only did that because I couldn't work legs. And now that I can, I'm going to go back down to twice a week. Now, twice a week, I'll probably do medium reps, 8 to 12. Going back on my quads now, I've been off for about two or maybe over two months since the surgery. I'm going to start real light, really light. Just do like 15 reps to get the body back into shape, get the quads back into shape, and see where it goes from there. But there again, diet plays an important key. We've talked about this before. I think eating five times a day is what it's going to take. For anybody out there, you keep your protein high, keep a little bit of carbs in your system because you need those to burn as energy. Like I had some cake today. You know why? Because I didn't care. I'm not training for a contest. I was hungry. I wanted to eat, so I had a piece of cake. I actually feel better since I did it. <laughs> so try the rep system. See how it works. You go on low reps and go on high reps. Write in and tell us and the other comments on the show because we learn off you just as much as you learn off me. When someone writes in and says they tried this, I read those because I want to know what, what happened with you. I want to know what you feel, if it worked for you or not. And I want to know what the high reps on certain body parts, and I want to know the low reps on certain body parts. This is like a classroom to me right now. I'm, I'm going to give you guys a test. <laughs> so when you answer these questions, we learn from you. You know, we, we respect your opinions. I respect your opinion for sure because you're in the gym and you're trying really hard, and I see the guys at goals, and I help them out over there a lot. A lot of young guys who are so nice and so much respect for us older guys that have been around and I've learned a lot by watching, and I think it's uh, this is a share type of thing for us in bodybuilding. We want to share all of our knowledge, not work against each other. Just like back in the old days, we all worked together with a camaraderie, and we were best friends. And we learned. Up, I'd rather hang out with the guys back then than do anything else. We had so much fun. We learned so much. And I'm going to come on and tell you some more stories about those days as soon as I gather them up. Also, check out old school labs. Now, I'm I'm I know some of you don't like supplements. You think they're garbage. I think supplements are good. Tell you why. Through the surgery I had, I had to do something to make sure my nutrition was high. They had a substance that's a green, it's like eating vegetables, it's a powder, and I mix it in my juice. They had a testosterone boost. They had a, 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 it's a, it's a joint supplement, which I took, and I like a lot. I think these supplements, uh, pre workout and amino acid, are good. I, I, they're good for me. Old school labs, as far as I know, have the best supplements I've ever seen. I'm not just saying that, I don't BS this stuff. And I tell you this much, if you use my code, Drayson12, you'll get 12% off on it as well. They just told me that yesterday. Might as well save money. You're going to buy supplements somewhere, buy them from them and get your, get your discount. Anyway, share with us what you do on your reps. Let us know where it goes. Um, not so much on bicep, a little bit more on tricep, a little bit less on delts, a little bit more on chest, a lot on back, a lot on quads. And then when you get down to calves, you can do 18 to 25 on calves. Because it's such a dense muscle, it takes a lot of reps to burn through that and get those fibers where they can really burn down and really stretch out and rebuild themselves. That is what I have to say today. I hope you guys have a wonderful day and um, stay tuned. I'll be bringing you more. Oh, I have Artemis Dalgan coming on again. He's been asking me about coming on the show. He has a lot to say. See you guys next time. He is the equalizer, baby. See you next time.
Thank you.